Hey, what's happening guys? I got a ping this morning from my mate Stargazer on Discord to let me know about a really nice update to Mesh Machine. So I thought I'd do a quick one to show you this amazing new feature. It's called Offset Cut. And to be honest, I've been waiting years for something like this and it's so good. Let me show you how it works. Um, once you install it, make sure, make sure obviously you're up to date with the latest Mesh Machine. Then you'll need to come into your add-ons preferences and then add-ons and then make sure, look, I'm on 0 0.70. Make sure you use experimental. Make sure that's set to true. Um, if you're watching this in the future, this function might not even be exper experimental. So if that's not there, don't worry. Um, by the way, I'm on 0, 070. 0. Um, so, yep, let's, let me show you. I've got these two shapes here. Let me show you. I'm going to pull in this shape away from here. So let me show you the wireframe. If I select this shape, select this shape using hops, I will difference hide this okay let's apply that okay cool so now if i threw a sub d on this it's going to look like crap i mean it's not too bad but yeah it doesn't look good right you could do you could clean it up minute like it's not that much cleanup but it still doesn't look amazing using go to my edge select control click just so it selects this loop whoops come in here select this Select that. Okay, great. So now using Y, boil in, clean up. Let's clean it up a bit. Yeah, something like that. Great. So now Y, offset cut. Um, you can choose how big you want it, obviously. So let's let's do something, something like this, where it's not overlapping this geo here. So. Let's go something like that. Great. So now if I, what I can do is I can also bevel it. Now if I throw a subdivision on there, look at that. How easy was that? And look, it's so clean. Let me add a loop cut here, a loop cut here. Now, as you can see, there is some bits which you have like some not some very nice shading so what you can do is so simple like let's just turn that off for a second and we just have to go in and just any sort of near verts just connect them um let's keep those ones as they are i see the little triangles like this is what you don't want so oh, i don't know what happened there something like that and you don't need to be too um, worried about how clean this is. Just any sort of near vert. So I'm just leaving like push these a bit away just to give it some space. Using edge slide so it doesn't deform the silhouette. So I'm just connecting these verts. Super quick and simple, and I think the shading should look a lot better now. Yeah, look at that. You see how quick and simple that was? So, and look, that's the wireframe. Now, let's try on another example. Let's try adding. So, if we select these again, and instead of difference, we'll go to a union. Hide this a second. So, now apply this. Come into edge, select this edge. looks like it's all selected let's try the boolean cleanup after the offset so if we offset cut this let's make it quite big something like that i'm not too sure at the moment because there's not any document i haven't seen any documentation for this so i'm not 100 percent sure what all of these do at the moment but yeah i guess we'll find out soon enough so then if we now press Control b to bevel it, let's bevel it like that. Great. Now, if I go to my edge, select this edge again. Y, boil in, clean up. There we go, and this aided us in connecting those verts. 
as you can see with a sub D on for the amount of time spent doing that that is amazing right how clean that is and again you can come in and clean up these little shadowy parts I don't know how well you can see it on the video but there is there is artifacts here but it's just probably yeah just near vert so then just connect stuff just so it flows a bit better cool i'm looking forward to seeing where this this add-on or this this functionality to this add-on goes in the future it looks really promising right i mean this is really cool really good and especially for the amount of time we've spent doing this cool anyway guys hope you enjoy it let me know what you think about this this update uh take care bye